Ugh. So, uh, I I love the entertainment aspect of pro football, but sometimes it can seem like pro wrestling. Like, bow gowed. That's Everson Griffin's music. So, yesterday, uh, we talked about how the former Vikings legend and current Detroit Lions uh, defensive end, Everson Griffin, uh, apparently he, he took some umbrage and said that his feelings were hurt when head coach Mike Zimmer, uh, this week in a press conference, referred to him as good, as opposed to great. As opposed to a legend, which he really is. And then he, he said that uh, people are going to put some respect on his name. So we, we listened to the audio of Everson's presser on Thursday. And it, it didn't really sound to me like he was throwing down the gauntlet. Like it wasn't a full on, hey, I 100% believe this. This is how it is, blah, blah, blah. Uh, I mean, it just sounded like Everson. It sounded like Everson in the media. And it, throughout the years, you know that he's funny. He can pull some deadpan humor. Uh, he can be tongue in cheek. Uh, but so we thought, okay, it's, it's whatever. I mean, it's kind of fun, lighthearted. I'm sure that uh, Everson and Zimmer talk and text more than people know, blah, blah, blah. Everson's having some fun here, you know, firing up the Lions fans, firing up himself, you know, trying to you know, sell the fight, as they say in the boxing and MMA world, where basically you talk mad junk about your opponent. Uh, sometimes they even get a little bit personal, uh, as as you saw in the, like the Conor Khabib uh, buildup, and then you hug it out after the game, except for Conor and Khabib. <laughs> Maybe not so much. But then Everson took to social media, and so Everson tweeted out, remember this one thing, I play this game of football because I love it, uh, not because I need it. Uh, we're great over here, stay asleep, I like it. I like, yeah, uh, and we we've heard uh, Everson use that language before. It's like I like it, I love it, I love it, I love it. And also, you know, we've talked about Everson Griffin does have a true passion for the game. Uh, he would play for ten bucks in a ham sandwich out, out in a parking lot. Uh, Everson uh, does have that old school mentality. Like it's not about the pomp and circumstance and the money and all the all the frills and all, all the all of that. It's just about loving the game, and that's what uh, fans, uh, Vikings fans, that, that's what really endeared. Everson to us, right? Uh, and then Everson, of course, started searching his name and replying to tweets, which you know, he, he's done before. I mean, you, you do love the fan interaction, but all right. And do you need a straw man to fire up uh, yourself up and rally sometimes and also fire up the base? Sure. I mean, we, we've seen, seen that a number of times. Also, we, sometimes we do that ourselves. Did you know that half of Vikings fans didn't want to beat the Packers? I, we have fun with it, right? Now, do I think Everson is just firing himself up and there's not any real animosity between him and the coach who helped make him a star uh, and want him back this offseason? Yeah, probably. I, do you think that they'll kiss and make up in the offseason? Uh, metaphorically, sure. Uh, but also, uh, is there still some bad blood between Everson and the organization? Uh, the way that they handled his contract this offseason as well as the 2019 offseason uh, when he got the pay cut ultimatum? Sure. Also, yes. Uh, but also, what does he want? What exactly does he want from Zimmer? Or is he building up that straw man, just taking a small perceived slight and turning it into an all out insult? That, that's also very possible. Like, does he want uh, Zimmer to grovel and say, oh, he's one of the best players I've ever coached. And you know, I'm pissed off at Rick Spielman, you know, the guy that I still have to work with down the hall uh, for nickel and diming Everson Griffin. We certainly wanted him back. And Rick was so stupid. Rick was so stupid for not re-signing Everson because Daniil uh, got tweaked up. And then they traded for Yannick, who was great. And then they traded him away. We could obviously use Everson Griffin. It's just so stupid. Like, we, we should have traded for him from Dallas for a conditional six-round pick. It's so stupid. Rick Spielman is so stupid. Uh, does he want that? It's probably not going to happen. Uh, and also, you know, Zimmer is famously very stingy with the praise. Like, uh, like Zimmer would go see the Christopher Nolan Dark Knight trilogy and be like, that's pretty good. Right? Although he did call Aaron Rodgers amazing once, but you know, that's an argument for another day. Uh, so I, I think that it, it is a bit myopic, uh, but also that's exactly what the NFL is. It is week to week. Uh, and with, uh, when Everson's career is over in a couple of years, I think he'll see that Vikings fans still love him, respect him. He's one of the best pass rushers in team history uh, on a team that's full of great pass rushers. Uh, and also, they're the team that gave him his first big contract uh, after all the national media jabroni's like, how do you give that much money to a guy who started one game? Because Vikings do. 
Uh, Vikings knew he was uh, drafted in the fourth round out of USC, homegrown, uh, and he was going to be a team leader and one of the greatest edge rushers in team history, right? And then also, of course, the team stood beside him when he went through his issues in 2018. Uh, it just didn't end up great. I mean, a few NFL careers with their original team um, do, right? And also, you know, Sack Daddy is still number one in our hearts, except for on Sunday. Uh, exactly Zimmer sentiments, as well as Week 17. But that's not going to be important for the Vikings because they'll be resting up players getting ready for the bye week nah probably not but i i still think that everson is pumping himself up here uh but yeah he's gonna have opportunity to have a big game because uh trey flowers is on ir so i, I think that everson will probably play 40 to 50 snaps uh of the game because uh, again it's not like he's hasn't played it's not like he isn't in game shape he, he was with the cowboys he did put up 18 pressures and two and a half sacks so it, it, it is a part of you know coming in and fitting into the lion's scheme which will be fine it's like hey, he'll get 40 plays like hey rush or hey try and stop dalvin right so reef brian o'neill bring the lunch pails because nine number 98 still weird to see him in 98 he's gonna bring it on sunday uh but your thoughts what exactly does everson want uh let us know in the comment section below subscribe for daily vikings takes must support that work post some of the venmo but until next time skull production value